Hello. 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 Okay, there. It's working. For some reason, when my computer reset, uh, it changed the microphone that it used to default, and unfortunately, that was nothing in the eyes of uh, YouTube. Got it. Yes. Good stuff. Yeah, the update for my computer must have uh, just reset pretty much everything, I think, unfortunately. Uh, I almost forgot to put the music on. Gotta have that fantastic music. Nice. Chillin'. Going good. Okay. Okay. We're back in business after a brief hiccup there. But as you can see, we got Snakeskin Veil putting a counter on a creature, so leaving that power boost to hopefully help cast galt a little bit easier along with protecting something oftentimes on my turn i've or well on the opponent's turn i've had to use a blossoming defense plus two plus two fantastic potential to get galt out but then of course that temporary buff and power goes away when it comes around to our turn so i'm pretty excited the fact that snakeskin veil that power sticks around because it is a counter and then we got just two Tamiyo safekeeping, increasing the protection for a total of six. I was thinking four Tamiyos, but six is probably enough to at least see one. Sometimes only one of these things is all we need, maybe to help protect Huntmaster or Marauding to really get things to pop off, I hope. A little bit different tonight with three Thrashing Brontodon. Some artifact and enchantment stuff was causing me trouble last night, so I felt like upping it Baseju to two and then bringing in Thrashing Brontodon at three there. And it's just another body. Fantastic, helping to hopefully cast the queen a little bit easier tonight. Sideboard-wise, I think it's still basically the same. I might have tweaked a little bit. It is nice having Rampaging Ferocidon, still the Blast Zones, Anger of the Gods, as always, shifting ceratops, the good stuff. And yeah, let's get right into it. Starting off in diamond three, two pips. Hopefully we can continue a nice little streak tonight. Wish you, ha okay, okay, no, that's pretty good. Fantastic to hear. I think Brontodon probably gonna do the trick. I might just up thrashing to four copies at the very least, sometimes it's a 2 for a 3-4. It's pretty good. It's not Topiary Stomper, but we can use Thrashing Brontodon to block a wide variety of stuff. And Thrashing Brontodon being a 3-4 trades with a lot of those creatures that are 3-3s. Three the Graveyard Trespasser. Um, yeah, lots of lots of stuff. So I think it's, uh, it's going to be good. Sacrifice a creature every turn. Oh... Ooh, that's that's a tough one. That's that sounds painful. Very sad. I don't know exactly which one it is. But I'm pretty sure I played against it. That is going to do you in, I think. Um We'll try for a commune. We'll see if we can get a ripjaw raptor. Maybe not. I kinda like Regisaur now that I think about it now. We'll go with Craig Crown, play it safe in uh, the land department, just in case we want to draw more lands. Oh, that is actually quite good. Next turn we can just go off super duper with the Wayward Swordtooth for one. I like it. Looks like classic Azorius control though. Oh, this might be a little problematic. At the very least, we'll get this marauding down. We got Snakeskin Veil to protect somebody. Hopefully, they don't counter this one. I'm going to try for the Wayward. Absorb. There we go. There we go. They did not like that one. Now, wait to play that marauding. Sometimes it can be a little clunky. Unfortunately, that's not a dual land, so I can't protect one of these guys with... Oh, portable hole. That's okay. I kind of wanted one to go away anyways, so it's not a complete loss. That's for sure. Okay. 
Now just hopefully we get some body, any body. Regis or Alpha would be nice. We would save Regis or Alpha by slapping the, well, that's when you want Tamios, that's for sure. Ooh, commune, get us something good. You can do it. Gotta be Regisaur. Unfortunately, can't play it this turn, and hopefully they don't have a counter spell for it. Yes. All right. That could be painful. Hopefully they go like uh, Teferi next turn, perhaps, or anybody that targets uh, Supreme Verdict. Well, back-to-back. Uh, -back. It is a good card. It is a board wipe, and... Uh, it absolutely does the trick. Hopefully they don't have a third one in hand, because that's kind of painful. Ouch. A little bit bumpy way to start off tonight. Oh, there's a... Well, we can't play Galta, but we'll attack with Ripjaw. See if they play that Wandering Emperor. Oh, nuts. Shoot. I don't think so. And if everything sticks around, we might be able to play Galta. Well, they're going to bounce that Ripjaw, I think, absolutely. Probably. Huh. Nope, that's the wrong button. I keep pressing the wrong button, my goodness. Well, we can play Galt. We'll see what Commune gets us. At the very least, hopefully it's another land we can still play here. Play it uh, Dovin's Veto. Okay, okay. Well, we'll pressure Teferi now. We'll just pressure them. They might let Teferi die in that scenario. Hopefully some protection for Ripjaw there. But I'm thinking maybe I should go all the Tamios. Hey, you can't counter that. Hmm... I'm kind of thinking Regisaur. We got a lot of options here, that's for sure. I'm going to go with Regisaur, yeah. And just hope they don't have a sweeper. They've used up two Supreme Verdicts, so it's going to get a little interesting. They would have to draw a sweeper at the very least. Bam! Pshh. There we go. Whew. Okay, that was that was rough. Supreme Verdict. Supreme Verdict. Absorb. Wandering Emperor. Dovin's Veto. Nuts. I was getting a little bit worried there, but they blew everything they had. They luckily didn't get an early Teferi to start drawing cards and refilling, but shifting Ceratops. Um, absolutely. That is the thing you want to do. I like it. Hmm. I could see keeping Thrashing Brontodon in. Definitely. They have, well, Portable Hole, of course, is an artifact. Thrashing Brontodon could destroy, but they also have Shark Typhoon. A couple other things. That would be nice. Kind of like Ripjaw drawn stuff, but switching Ripjaw for Shifting, they both cost the exact same, and Shifting definitely is... A little bit more durable against this type of opponent. Ooh, that looks like that could be pretty good. I like it. Well, we'll hope for maybe a Marauding Raptor. Unfortunately, no protection for it. There we go. We'll try. We'll see what we can make happen oh okay well we'll get marauding down just in case that's um counter spell or something we got somebody technically we could get gall to this turn if they don't have a counter spell but i think it's well we could have got gall to if we played the mountain first that's okay that's okay Still attack with Marauding. See what they do.
Hope it's not a... Oh, Behold the Multiverse. Hmm. Hopefully it's targeted removal on Marauding, and then we just dump Regisaur Alpha next turn. I think they're getting a little desperate here. We survived two Supreme Verdicts, which was pretty nice. Hopefully we can do it again. I think there could be a Settle the Wreckage in the midst. I'm going to try for Thrashing, see if that draws out anything they might have. I'd rather them use a counter spell on the Thrashings versus Galta and Regis or Alpha, of course. I wouldn't be Wandering Emperor. Ah, stopping some damage, that's okay. Cycling, maybe getting to that board wipe. Hopefully not. Oh, good. They're still on one source of white. That is very helpful. Absolutely. Let's save it. Bam. Hopefully no counter spell. Uh, oh, good stuff. We got options. Do we have lethal? Not quite. Regisaur Alpha, yeah, let's try for Regisaur. They may have a counter spell. Yeah. That's how it goes sometimes. Okay. Well, we had to eat it up eventually. Hopefully no second source of white. Ooh, there we go. Yes, Supreme Verdict. I figured it was going to happen at some point. Had to happen at some point, unfortunately. Wandering Emperor, I'm thinking. Oh. Hmm. Now I'm really feeling like Tamios. Just to give somebody indestructible and save them from those board wipes. Supreme Verdict, Depopulate, whatever it happens to be. another thrashing. Ooh. That's good. That's problematic. Hold back on the thrashing just in case, you know, they play Something like the Shark Typhoon, I would like to take it out, but it's kind of getting away from us, unfortunately, here. Right, we got somebody else out. We potentially can play Galta next turn. That would be pretty nice. Hopefully they don't have another wandering emperor in hand that would be kind of rough and i'm kind of missing that anger of the gods seeing all these tokens but that definitely doesn't happen all the time against azoria's control oh they have a sweeper no cancel they must have a sweeper There we go. I, that, 
Well, the board's clear. Regisaur Alpha would be quite fantastic. And I am missing my Carnage. There we go. Okay, no counter. Counter spell. There's a counter spell. Uh, we'll wait. We'll wait and see what they have. Shifting Ceratops is going to be helpful indeed. Nah, we're not busting through that. Okay. Nah, I'll leave it like that. But yeah, I think uh, next game I'm going to switch out two of the snakeskin veils, get the full play set of Tamios, and then, uh, yeah, just keep it at two snakeskin for Tamios. Really missing that indestructible. Not well, uh, that's going to be rough as well. Okay, okay, that's definitely the keeper. Huntmaster, nice to see for sure. Hopefully we can get both Maraudings down next turn. Yes, I actually think that would be pretty good. That would make sense. I'm just going to play both Marauding, hoping, you know, they don't do anything to them. Get rid of both of them. All right, let's do a little bit of damage. Out, yes, out of order wrecking ball. Something like that. There's definitely a lot of times... We can't bust through. Supreme Verdict. Wandering Emperor. Oh, double Tamios. Good stuff. Well, things are not going to die. That's for sure. I'll save one. Fairy. Oh, no. I'm going to try and take him out. That's for sure. Oh, the Regisaur. All right. All right. We got options here. We'll enter full control. Absolutely. Okay. And hope they can't counter it they well, they don't counter it which is quite nice I'm just gonna swing for the face do as much damage as possible yeah you always got to enter full control if you want to do something that involves marauding raptors triggers there absolutely this is going to be interesting, though. If they try to do a sweeper, could be nice with Tamios. We only have to save one Marauding, and then we would have lethal next turn with the Regis or Alpha, but they're factoring that in for sure based on uh, what they might want to do. That could be a counter spell right there, I think. Hopefully it's not a counter spell. Try for it again. Saw it coming. Absorb. Okay, well, we had to play them at some point. They're getting pretty low. I could see them sweeping. Oh, Tamios does not save against Farewell, unfortunately. Farewell go our chances. Yeah, that's probably it for this. Yep. 
No, we're not uh, not coming back from that. That's all right. We took him down a game. It's a very rough matchup. Definitely not one that's favored for dinos, but I was kind of missing that carnage turn for sure. Definitely, I'm gonna I'm switching out two of those snakeskin veils. Let's do that before I forget. was pretty sweet taking them down through two supreme verdicts that is oftentimes very tough to do it's always going to be difficult but dinos they get her done Having a tough time finding another control opponent to face us, I think. I would like to face more Azorius control. I do actually enjoy practicing against that matchup and other control matchups, but definitely the Azorius control one. Just kind of getting a little bit more comfortable against them. I'm pretty comfortable by now, but I can always use more practice. That's for sure. Oh. This could be good. See what they play. Uh, hopefully it's not Rakdos, but... Excuse me, I'm drinking my coffee too fast. It definitely could be Rakdos with the Omnixilis avatar there. So we may hold off playing Huntmaster until we have at least one green to protect him. Hopefully no Thoughtseize. Luckily it wasn't turn one Thoughtseize, but if that is this turn, I think they'll definitely choose Huntmaster. Hey, good stuff. Always, yep, stay hydrated, 100%. That's where it's at. Ooh, this is actually very interesting. Yeah, let's go Huntmaster plus Marauding. Hopefully they don't have a fatal push, but I think that's... a. Uh, possibility if they don't we're definitely off to the races but i would not be surprised if at least one of these guys died strangle that is good and uh fatal push well we're not blocking that's for sure oh i was a little bit worried they might have a stomp as well but Luckily, that was not the case. Okay. It's got to be Wayward. Well, it could be Ripjaw, but again, I want to protect the Huntmaster. Now, you know what? Let's get the Ripjaw down. I think that could be pretty problematic for him. Never mind, it is not. That's all right. Hmm. Oh, we're going to be taking that out with Thrashing Brontodon. Oh, I'm, I'm actually very excited about this. Yes, indeed. Wayward Swordtooth would help quite a bit. Getting to Galta, but also having one green left over. Tamios or Snakeskin Veil to help protect whoever we need to protect. That one mountain, though, that's kind of messing us up a little bit, unfortunately. Certainly would have gone Thrashing Brontodon instead of Wayward Swordtooth. Gotta take it. I could use Huntmaster to block that goblin token. Snakeskin Veil getting him to three toughness, but I think they'll try and kill somebody here. 
probably. Anger of the Gods, though, is going to do the trick against this deck. Another Hunt Master. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Next turn, we'll probably be seeing Galta. I mean, we, wow, we're not quite dead. If Hunt Master can block the Goblin token, we might get him, but this is probably too low, unfortunately. Actually, I can just stop uh, the Tenacious Underdog now that I think about it. Because Huntmaster has Indestructibles. That, that makes more sense. Or he just has Hex... I thought it was uh, Tamios that I cast on him, unfortunately. Well, that's my bad. Nuts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if only that mountain was something green, we would have the queen. So I may even just have to increase the number of green sources, maybe cut all singular red sources completely, because I've actually run into this situation a couple times before, and it is uh, quite painful. We're not coming back from uh, two, though, unfortunately. Nah, that's all good. We got the pain, the thing that's going to bring the pain, anger of the gods. Lovely, lovely stuff. I will cut the wayward. Well, shifting could be nice. Trample, but definitely Ripjaw has to stay in. We'll keep it like that. Snakeskin Veil actually could be pretty useful. I'm hoping it comes up tonight at some point, putting that counter on Marauding Raptor, getting it to four toughness, and then it would survive the anger of the gods that we're likely going to be going here. Definitely going to prioritize it somewhat. Ooh, ah, clunky again, the double root bound. We saw that a couple times last night, unfortunately. And three Galtas, that's... Nah, nah. Okay, that's a little better? Kind of. I'll keep that. Looks like we have a good chance maybe to get to Regis or Alpha. We're already at four lands. Hopefully somebody we can play at least. Now. Oh, the thrashing. Speaking of, good stuff. Dead, maybe. I don't think they'd want to kill thrashing. They'd probably want to save it for something more th threatening, I was thinking. They are playing the Fable, so yeah, definitely I can understand that um, wanting to protect the Fable. We certainly would have sacrificed Thrashing Brontodon, but this Marauding is not going to die, that's for sure. Snakeskin Veil and Tameo Safekeeping, it, it's not happening. So hopefully they try and use some removal on it. They got rid of a Fatal Push, that is very interesting. Strangle. Now let's go with Snakeskin Veil. Ouch. Snakeskin Veil just is hexproof. Next turn we might 
want to be using Tamiyo safekeeping to give marauding indestructible so that it survives through double blocking and that sort of thing which is pretty nice we're able to do that I think there's probably a pretty good chance that they'll double block marauding Okay, try and kill Marauding again. You know you wanna. Goblin Dark Dwellers. Interesting. Ooh, that is pretty different. I haven't seen that yet. Um, yeah, I'll read it over for you guys. Anyone that doesn't know, three and two red for a 4-4 menace. When it enters the battlefield, you may cast an instant or sorcery with mana value 3 or less from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. So they're going to be casting removal, I would imagine, on somebody, which will protect. Oh, heartless act. That is heartless and cruel and nasty. And not dead. Oh, hoo! Call to next turn would be pretty good. Not the case, but we'll slam them. Lots of power, lots of damage. Mm. I'm thinking marauding. Nah, I'm gonna hold back. Just in case we get Galta next turn, I want to cast her for super cheap. Might get a commune, might get a Galta, but cut. Cut does the trick. Probably make a copy of Goblin Dark Dwellers there, I would imagine. Putting us to sleep here, my goodness. Do, 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 do. I think they should make a copy of Goblin Dark Dwellers, recasting whatever removal from their graveyard. Killing Marauding Raptor there, I would have. Ah, yes, definitely Marauding Raptor. kind of painful can't really kill him next turn no matter what we get uh, another Regis or Alpha would be pretty nice for sure oh Baseju we are killing reflection of creepy jiki that has to happen Uh, they can uh, get, well, they can kill us with ribbons, unfortunately. Uh, two, so we'd lose five, nine. Can't attack, that's for sure. Ah, uh, we're dead. Yep, yep. Again, no busting through that. Now well, we'll bring it back around. Let's get that... Uh, Turn three, Hasty Galta tonight. I feel it. It's coming in the air. Gotta be. One of these nights here. Hopefully I'm recording at the very least. It might not be live, of course, but um, I just hope it happens. One mulligan. Okay, well, we got three lands at least. We can play the Thrashing Brontodons. Excuse me. Uh, 
Oh, commune, I like it. Well, we'll stick with the secluded courtyard just in case Craig Crown has to be Timber Crown or Craig Crown Pathway. Hold off on playing it as long as possible for sure. Hmm. Play it safe with the Lair of the Hydra there. Oh, are they stumbling in the land department? Maybe. This could be working out for us. Okay, well, another Rakdos again. It is fantastic, basically. Seems to be the best deck in the format. One of the best, for sure. One of the most popular. Thoughtseize? Uh, I, I figured a Thoughtseize. Probably saying goodbye to Ripjaw, I would imagine. Maybe Thrashing, but no, probably Ripjaw. Somebody's coming down next turn, that's for sure. Really need that Jeopardy theme music, my goodness. Okay, okay, back in business, let's go. I would like some nice interaction, taking out things, but definitely the thrashing to take a reflection of Kiki Jiki is, should be important. I mean, we're seeing Rakdos quite often. And this is specifically what I was saying against Rakdos. Bunch of their stuff is three threes. They would probably never block the thrashing so we should get through a nice little bit of damage and anger of the gods next turn couldn't be good yeah i could definitely see myself upping thrashing to four copies just seems to make sense if they try to use removal on thrashing and they have a target out something like reflection we just respond to whatever spell they use to try and kill it take out reflection and then they mostly waste that removal so it can be quite nice if you get into that scenario for sure they may just not want to cast reflection because we have two thrashing out which would be pretty nice Ooh, oh oh we see galta that this will be galta i think so yes maybe hopefully they can't kill somebody they might have um heartless act hopefully that's not the case but we'll try for the queen at least oh boy i think they're gonna kill her i think they probably have a heartless act Mm, no attacks we played two spells so it's gonna go back today uh, graveyard glutton turning back to the graveyard trespasser there what are they thinking doesn't take too long to decide to kill galta yeah i don't know why don't know why that took so long Maybe they have a bad connection or something like that. It is nice seeing Lair of the Hydra, but a little bit worried about Fatal Push, of course. So we'll see if maybe they're tapped out or 
they at least have no sources of black and then we can pretty safely make Lair of the Hydra a creature. It would be nice to turn on Wayward Swordtooth though. One of these days here. Nope, they looked at Lair of the Hydra. I think they got a fatal push. Uh, I would like to make it a creature. It could be a 4-4. Trading with... Uh, yeah, let's, let's go for it. Let's hope, beyond hope, that they don't have fatal push and attack with Lair. Okay. Okay, that worked out. Very scary. Definitely, they don't have Fatal Push because they would have 100% used it right there. But I bet they have a couple of reflections, at least one reflection in hand, and they just don't want to play it because we're sacking a thrashing. They don't like the wayward. Interesting. Maybe they're new with the deck. It's taken them a long time to figure out what to do. I'll take everything. I want to maintain the Thrashing Brontodons, potentially helping us to cast Galta. We could cast Galta next turn. We're reducing her by six. We got six lands. It may happen. Come on, you can do it. Galta. Galta. That's not Galta. But... Gonna make a pretty decent sized layer of the Hydra, that's for sure. Fatal push. Well, we're doing something. Hopefully they don't have a second copy of Kalatas. I think they certainly want to preserve him, but they probably don't want to take five, that's for sure. Oh, I think they're considering double blocking one of these days. trying to well they were thinking about okay they want to preserve that zombie token there definitely lair of the hydra has put in the work but we're pretty low we would be taking quite a bit with hive of the eye tyrant there three probably not block the graveyard glutton as well but hive of the eye tyrant we could double block to take out which would be quite nice so i think as long as we have the two thrashing they'll probably not use Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Uh, 
Oh, doubling up on removal, I see. Pretty good, pretty good. They could have attacked with Kalatas for sure. Baseju, that's not quite going to do it. I'll keep Baseju back just in case they get that um, reflection of Kiki Jiki. Ah, you know what? Let's hold back that Lair of the Hydra. Maybe use it to block the graveyard glutton there. What am I thinking? Uh, we're not quite dead. Oh, well, we'll wait and see if they attack with everybody. I don't think they would because of Lair of the Hydra. Although if they make Hive of the Eye Tyrant a creature, I'm pretty sure that would be it. They might just have removal for Lair of the Hydra here. Or just another stomp, perhaps. Oh, sacrificing Kalatus. Yes, yes, that is. That will do it. That will do it. Okay. Anger of the Gods. Let's go. Well, maybe Rampaging Frostadon. Nah. Does die to anger. I'll cut the wayward. Snakeskin Veil. Couple shifting. The full playset of shift. Oh, not a blast zone. Get out of there. Definitely took them a while. Hopefully they play a little bit faster, but it's um, pretty nice. Again, practicing against this deck. Certainly. Trashing Brontodon, four copies. Test it out. It's an uncommon, so certainly not hard on the wild card budget. Likely, if you're playing Dinos already, you may have the full play set of Thrashing Brontodon, but just the fact that he might deter them completely from playing Reflection of Kiki Jiki which is nice. Survives the anger. Very good. If you don't need to sacrifice them, still pretty good thing to attack with. Topiary Stomper, I do like, but I like being able to use Thrashing Brontodon a little bit earlier than Topiary Stomper. Sometimes works out fantastically with Topiary, just popping off, maybe getting to seven lands on turn four. If every... Excuse me if everything all goes well. But with enough... Ah, excuse me. Oh. My goodness. With enough lands, Thrashing Brontodon, I think it's uh, maybe better having thr Thrashing instead of Topiary Stomper. They must be a little bit scared there. We took them pretty low. Maybe they'll cut some of their reflections of Kiki Jiki, perhaps? Or they're hoping we'll concede because they figure we hate facing Rakdos, which absolutely, I don't hate facing everything or anything, I should say. I always love to practice all the time. If I'm playing dinos, I'm happy. Sometimes you see something new that we just don't really have an answer for, unfortunately. 
This is interesting. We got, well, the ability for Marauding Raptor turn two. Unfortunately, it's no source of red. Oh, we'll keep it. Cross the fingers. Source of red for Hunt Master. I got to at least be secluded, that's for sure. Oh, phew. Well, I mean, it's a source of red. Unfortunately, Rootbound Craig certainly would have been the thing to play turn one, but we got protection for whatever we play for two, so actually this, this works out. This makes sense. Hopefully they don't take out Rootbound Craig. Maybe they're going to do that. What are they looking at? If they do go Thoughtseize, I mean, we got stuff. That's for sure. Yeah, they gotta, they gotta be new with this tech. I've never seen a Rakdos mid-range take so long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm used to uh, control decks taking so long to play. Oof. Oh, they don't like the Regis or Alpha. Interesting. Oh, hey, no, don't, don't screw us up here, buddy. Try and pop off with the Huntmaster plus Marauding. I don't think they can do anything at instant speed for a single red. Hopefully both those things stick around, but at the very least, I think they'll kill somebody. They'll want to kill somebody. Seeing that we're tapped out, they don't have to worry about the Tameo safekeeping that we can see. Oh yeah, usually up to some nonsense. Fires of invention, casting spells for free based on the number of lands they control. Uh, just normal nonsense. Wondering who to kill. Yeah, as long as we have protection, it's pretty fantastic to ruin their day. But they certainly want to kill... Somebody this turn. They gotta do it. Colkins. Well, we'll discard Huntmaster because the Huntmaster would die to Maraud. Oh, an anger. I like it. This could be good. Hopefully no thought sees and hopefully a second source of red for anger, which I may need to tweak things just a little bit to more consistently have two sources of red there. Previously, I wasn't always using Anger, at least with this super accelerated Galtalest, at least in the early stages. I definitely lean more towards sources of green because there's lots of stuff that is only double green. But double red, that can be kind of rough, especially when it's not attached to a dinosaur and secluded courtyard can't help us cast it. Well, it can kind of one colorless, but... Yeah, anger can be difficult. Oh, the Regis or Alpha. Oh, I'm interested in... Oh, if we had four lands, we could protect Regisaur, which is quite nice. Interesting. I'm going to hold off. See what they do this turn. Hopefully drawing that third land or fourth land next turn, be able to either protect Regis or Alpha, maybe cast Anger of the Gods and protect one of the Maraudings. There's the fable. You know it, you love it. Guaranteed to see it. Might take out the Graveyard Glutton. Double block? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Oh. 
Oh, we got Galta. It's something. 22 lands? Actually, it might be 23. I'm pretty sure it's 22. Previously, I had it at uh, 24. Usually didn't run into scenarios like this, but even 24 lands, you can have times where this happens, certainly. Fourth land, next turn. I can feel it. Hmm. Oof. We'll see what they discard. Probably, I think it would be Regis or Alpha. They discarded one previously. Unfortunately, they see Anger of the Gods and Galta. I would say probably Regis or. They might do Tamios. But I don't think they want to risk Regis or Alpha. Yeah. They're going to lose that goblin if they attack with it, but they probably want that treasure token, I would imagine. Rogue, so well, certainly. We'll discard the queen. It's a very sad day. Of course, we got four copies of her, so a very good chance to see another one. Hopefully it's a land before that, though. All right. Ooh, okay, another Regisaur. I mean, it's nice having a replacement, for sure. Hmm. At the very least, they would have to have two spells to get rid of Marauding, responding to the Tameo safekeeping with uh, a Fatal Push. Might have a Heartless Act plus a Fatal Push or start off with the Strangle, follow it up with Fatal Push perhaps. Wouldn't be surprised if this was, oh, oh. Double reflection, double ouch, double pain and suffering. They keep looking back and forth between reflection and marauding, and I don't know why. Really wanted that treasure. You can't, uh, you can't tap Reflection yet? Uh, yeah. Maybe they thought Reflection had haste because, I don't know, first time they're playing the deck. Hey, we got a land. Oh, Opa. There we go. Off to the races. Now Marauding might be dead to a fatal push. I'll certainly attack with the Marauding for power. And if they wanted to kill it, they would have to double block, which they absolutely would never do. They want to kill somebody.
one one day here one day they'll uh, get it together one of these days less than 12 minutes remaining my goodness we're sitting at 24 minutes and they're already below 12 crazy okay there's the fatal push as i expected but keep in mind we have anger of the gods and we're going to be taking out hopefully both reflections we'll probably go anger of the gods next turn maybe tameos to protect regis or alpha hopefully they don't make too much nasty copies of something with reflection this turn i would like to take out both reflectionists if possible But they know anger is happening at some point. Either they kill Regisaur or they make a copy of somebody. An oh, triple fable of the mirror. I wish I had back to nature. One in a green destroy each. Enchantment. Destroy all enchantments for one in a green at instant speed. My goodness, that would be beautiful. Eh, I'll wait. I'll wait for it. At the very least, next turn they'll get a second reflection, hopefully taking out both of them, but having two reflections can get pretty nasty, that's for sure. Absolutely have to go Anger of the Gods next turn. We'll certainly save Regis or Alpha this one. Luckily, they're stumbling in the land department as well, so... You always got to look on the positive side of things, no matter how small. And they can't escape Croxa, which is quite nice. Hopefully not. They're desperately searching for that fourth land to escape Croxa, I think. Oh yes, get uh, get that fourth mana with the treasure token there. Then they'll escape uh, croaks are right here, coming up. Yeah, that's definitely what they're doing. Gotta be. I don't see anything else that would make that much sense. Chandra. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Huh. Don't exactly get that. Bone Crusher for two. Hmm. Okay, well, well, well. I guess just uh, anger of the gods. I like it. Do I want to take her down to... Yeah, let's take her down to one. Just to remove the possibility that she might minus three, deal four damage to Regisaur. And they have to use some other form of removal to potentially get rid of it double up on other forms of removal, I should say. Now they'll probably escape Croxa. I could have played this land um, last turn, but I felt I had enough. I wanted to keep it in hand just so Tameos wasn't the only card I had in hand and would have to unfortunately discard that, but 
Uh, they, this opponent has been pretty surprising so far. Now I would expect Kroxa. Yeah, so that's what's happening. Definitely, they're looking at their graveyard there. It was tempting not to play that land, but I think holding it back should do the trick. I do like anger. I do absolutely like anger. Yeah, got to take out reflection. Absolutely. Pressure him with Regisaur. I actually will pressure Chandra. They probably want to. Okay. Forced us to use Tamiyo. Save Regisaur. Take out Kroxa. Probably escape. Oh, yes, because we dealt damage with anger it's exiled doesn't go to the graveyard so that's kind of nice Chandra still can't minus three and get rid of Regisaur which is pretty good my goodness this feels like a super long snooze fest of a control matchup yeah likely had to happen at some point Hopefully they're not playing anything too problematic here, but uh, the Bone Crusher, that is decent. More land. Hey, hey, we're getting more lands here. Carnage Tyrant, that would be nice. Uh, I think I probably have to add in some number of Carnage Tyrant. It's probably missing. Yeah. I love Carnage Tyrant. It's just so hard having something that costs so much. I want to keep things lower cost that still provide lots of power, hopefully getting a cheap Galta down at some point. Right, we got to have something big and impactful coming up. Otherwise, that's going to do it. Oh, more lands. Well, sometimes you draw lands when you don't need to draw lands. But I certainly wanted to play that out. See if we could find a way to get them. Was not meant to be how it goes. But it will go better eventually at some point. The dinos will prevail. Greatness from small beginnings. I should get more coffee, but I didn't even make a pot. It was leftover from this morning. I made big enough that I could fill up my thermos, still have some leftover for after work, and then a cup right now. So I might have to make some tea pretty soon. See if it's another Rakdos. That'd be pretty good. Three in one night. Maybe four if we play long enough. Oh, finally. A Mythic. Okay. And Nothriel. Going second. Nuts. Oh, well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We got lots of lands. Protection for Marauding and dropping some good stuff. I don't feel like... Oh, Rakdos. More Rakdos. More pain and suffering. Well, we'll hold off on Marauding just because likely it's going to get killed, unfortunately. Double Blood Tie, the Anger of the Gods. I like it. Maybe I should just start off with Anger of the Gods at this point. Probably. Oops. We're swimming in the lands. Okay, luckily they didn't use a fatal push, but they're probably going to kill it this turn, I would think.
they would just respond with the other blood tithe harvester so i think that has to happen unfortunately interesting don't know why they didn't respond with the other one hmm well 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 thrashing it is At least we have one for thrashing to take out something. Hopefully, uh, usually I try to get at least one attack off with thrashing. Fatal put. Oh, a devil. Okay, okay. Well, they had to use up certainly a lot of resources to take it out. So it's not a total loss. Oh, good old Ripjaw. Nope, oh, nope, nope, nope. Don't attack. Don't attack. Hold on there, Thrashing. I know your art makes it seem like you're a go-getter. Destroying someone's cool-looking boat, but attacking, it's not the time. But devil is... Well, that is good. That is painful. Might have to start bringing in Storm's Wrath now that I think about it. Four damage to everything is, uh, uh nope, nope. Get the blockers, then block them. All right. Hey, Lair of the Hydra. It's something. Not the exact something we're looking for, but... Yeah, we're not going to bust through that. Like you say, I definitely think I need some emote, uh, sort of defeated looking dino, the wrecking ball, out of order wrecking ball. I do like that suggestion, absolutely. But anger it is. Blast zone? Uh, maybe blast zone. Now we have enough lands. Hunt master. All right, let's see the queen. Let's bring the pain. Probably not too threatened by us, and uh, anger should be pretty surprising against him, I hope. Ooh, yeah, that could work out. I'll go rootbound Craig turn one. I was thinking commune with dinosaurs, but rootbound Craig, currently we don't have a mountain or a forest, so... That definitely feels better. Oh, I mean, it's Rakdos all the time. All day, every day, it seems. But yeah, going back to Storm's Wrath, definitely. I think that may have to happen. Again, four damage taking out Kalatis, four damage to Planeswalkers as well. Would also hopefully take out the Chandras. Just absolutely mop the floor completely clear them out. Wayward Swordtooth being at 5 toughness would survive. Ripjaw Raptor as well. Certainly, we'll go Wayward this turn. We got plenty of lands to play. Quite nice. Probably should have done a Craig Crown pathway instead of Timber Crown, so hopefully we don't get messed up there. Well, we have Baseju to, uh, Hopefully, well, eventually take out that Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Uh, I'll get a little bit of damage on him. Hopefully everybody survives. Next turn, at least get to 10 permanents. And well, we're not getting to 10 permanents. I think they probably, yeah, should attack with at least that token there. Oh, okay. Wow, they really wanted that guy gone, my goodness. 
But oof, we got marauding. We got ripjaw. That's what you want to do. Draw some stuff. Let's go. I'll wait until Basaju. I'm probably going to want to be taking out um, a reflection of Kiki Jiki here. Could use a thrashing Brontodon for sure, but let's draw some more cards. They might use a strangle on Ripjaw. I'm, I would be happy to draw two cards from this scenario. Might be a fatal push. Okay. Definitely has to be the Craig Crown. Thrashing. Mm. Another thrashing. Yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Now, let's swing with both these guys. See who they block with. That's okay. Tamio safekeeping. Protect it. Do a bunch of damage. And, uh, yeah, take it out. Let's not mess around. We did gain some value from Marauding pinging the Thrashing Brown to Dawn. Slight bit more damage. Double Blood Tithe. I want that Anger of the Gods ASAP. Yikes. Well, Marauding it is. Hmm. Blood tithe probably to take out the wayward sword tooth, I would imagine. Interesting. Wayward's putting in the work. We'll still hold off on Baseju, just especially if they play another reflection of Creepy Jiki. Whoa, yep, definitely. Ripjaw, let's go. Down to the wire here. Whew. Graveyard. Oh, anger of the gods, please. I'm crossing my fingers. If we get anger, well, we may win. Oh, anger. Anger. You can do it. Ooh, it's not anger, but it is a pretty good body. I like it. Maximum damage. Let's go. I'd rather take out the Graveyard Trespasser, just in case it um, flips. It would be a 4-4 out of range of um, Anger of the Gods. Metok, that could be uh, not too bad. Basaju could take it out. That's pretty nice. Oh, snakeskin veil. All right. Lair of the Hydra make it a four... Four, four? Yeah, a four, four. Oh, 
Oh, I still have one left over with snakeskin to protect it. Everybody, here we go. Oof. This will be interesting. Definitely nice taking out Alatus here. They do go back up to two, but we got something going. Hopefully they don't have a second copy of Calatus. They'll probably search for it. Well, they're looking for a removal on that ripjaw. The trespass are nuts. Oh, 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 yes. Boom, win. Just hold off until the anger and there you go. Dead, done, done like dinner. Yes, oh, phew, oh yes. I forgot to chat with you about that, um, yeah, getting killed in red zones. It was rough, for sure. Two million silver. Good stuff. I'm happy to hear that. Absolutely. You're, you're rolling in silver. Definitely, that's going to uh, set you up quite nicely. Weapons and stuff. But, uh, yeah, I'm quite happy it's going well for you. Adventuring into some harder areas in Albion there. It does the trick. It's kind of nice fighting other players. Rough when you lose stuff, but if the weapons and things you lose are, you know, not super costly, oftentimes it doesn't take too much to replace your weapons. Ten sets, yes. Hey, you know, if you die, they take your weapons. Not a problem. You got ten copies, ten sets of whatever your favorite set is. Dying in uh, PvP, it's good. And it's definitely, excuse me, it's definitely good practice for sure. I haven't really ventured too much into red zones, but at some point I'll do it. I'll have to do it to get the better rewards for sure. Stick with the mountain. Probably Craig Crown, probably has to be Timber Crown next turn for that source of green. Oh, hmm. Yeah, Timber Crown, definitely. We'll go with Thrashing, just because I may need Besedru to take out Fable of the Mirror Breaker here. We'll see. Shandra's taken out Thrashing, unfortunately. I think that's pretty much certain. Stomp to take out Thrashing. Heartless Act. Okay, never mind. It is dying. Was dying. Would like to take out Shander, though. Yep. Take the hit. Take the ping. Get the Thrashing. I don't know, I might save Thrashing this turn. Might sacrifice it to... Uh, hmm, that's a toughie. We'll wait and see. Oh, good. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. See if we use Snakeskin Veil on Thrashing to save it. See what they do, at least. Hmm. 
I mean, if we could potentially turn on Wayward Swordtooth, get to 10 permanents. So we got to keep that in mind. Phew. Oh, we got we got the queen. Now hopefully they don't have removal for her. Heartless act would be pretty heartless. We got turn on wayward. Uh, so three, uh, six, not, yeah, it's got to be beside you, unfortunately. Wayward has to be turned on. We got to pressure Sandra, that's for sure. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I figured they would ultimate. It's not quite over yet, but it's going to be difficult. Ah, yeah, that's going to do it. Should have sacrificed thrashing to take out reflection on that. Yep. Well, that's how it goes. Tried to take out Chandra. Unfortunately, she ultimated, uh, and that did us in. Big time. Yeah, if she hadn't, or maybe been one turn off the ultimate, might have been able to make something happen, but uh, was not meant to be. We'll see if it's a uh, fourth Rakdos coming up here. That My goodness. Going to have to really take a look at that. But I think Thrashing Brontodon is a pretty nice addition. Haven't used him seriously in months. Might be almost a year now that I haven't really used Thrashing. But it's been enjoyable. Oh, yeah, I like it. Vampires, maybe. Which is also Rakdos colors, but at the very least it has to be Craig Crown. We need some source of red. Maybe Beseju next turn. We'll see what they play if we want to hold on. To, oh, Azorius. Something. Well, hopefully they don't have removal for Huntmaster. Portable hole. Something like that. Uh, Esper. Fatal push. It is good. It is good. Let's see what Commune gets. I like it. Okay, phew. They didn't flip, at least. It would have been a pretty nasty clock if they were flyers. Pretty problematic. Oh, another Delver, my goodness. Luckily, they don't have another Fatal Push, but we got the Queen. We got the Queen. All right. It took us almost two hours, but we got the Queen down. Good stuff. Hopefully, they don't kill her, but if they can, they will. The best stuff. Dolph, okay. Dream Eater. Dinos eat the dreams. Crush the dreams. Our dream happened right there. Um, I don't know. It's hard to say exactly what kind of Esper variation they are. They got lots of blue stuff. So absolutely, I think Shifting Ceratops has to come in. Maybe Anger of the Gods. It's hard to say what other creatures they have besides Delver of Secrets. Maybe they have a bunch more. Maybe that's one of the main creatures. And they just happen to draw the three copies. Because Anger certainly would be nice to take out all those guys. Flying could be problematic. I do see white, though. 
and I see black. So I think there could be some destroy all creatures sweepers. So Tamio safekeeping again with the indestructible would be hopefully a little bit more beneficial. Rip draw. We'll cut two of that just because shifting, I think, should be more beneficial in this matchup. All right. Possibly could have brought in Blast Zone if a lot of their creatures are one, two. We'll definitely get a better idea of it this game. Hopefully taking them down this game, of course, but yeah. Haven't seen an Esper list in quite some time. Probably a couple, uh, maybe a couple weeks. At least two weeks, I would say. Delver again. Oh, he flipped already. Nuts. This could be tough. But we don't have any protection for Huntmaster, so we'll go for it. Hope no sensor, counterspell, fatal push. At the very least, we have backups in hand. Oh, it's um, uh, Grease Fang. I think this might be Grease Fang. Esper Grease Fang. Probably Esper Grease Fang. Now that I'm seeing the Tainted Indulgence. Let's just go with another uh, Huntmaster, Wayward. Hopefully both the Huntmasters survive. Maybe they don't counter the Wayward. We're still a ways off from 10 permanent, so I don't think Wayward is too threatening for him. Maybe it is. Okay. Well, uh, they have a sweeper. It was a sweeper that doesn't matter if your things are indestructible, unfortunately. All right, Huntmaster, Wayward. That's where it's at. Nah, thrashing. I want thrashing. So we might be able to attack with thrashing plus rip John next turn because thrashing's already been out for a cycle. Okay, well, I'm thinking anger at least is coming in. Oh, the shifting, yep, yep, I said a lot of blue stuff. That's what I'm doing, 100% uh, haste, yeah. We might be dead if that Delver flips. Hopefully not. Don't flip. Oh, I have to click Resolve. My bad. Phew. Okay. If they can't deal with shifting, we might have them here. My goodness, this match will take like a sixth or a seventh of the time that the previous one took. Or was it, it was the Rakt, I've lost track of the Rakdos matches. They all sort of blend together, unfortunately. At least I can go back and rewatch them, but uh, yeah. Let's go Ripjaw, lock it up, hopefully. No removal for shifting.
Oh, absolutely. I think they need replay an opt-in chat or it's automatically opted out of chat whenever you join a game. But yeah, replays. Oh, my goodness. That was like a six minute, seven. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. Esper Agro, I guess. Oh, 100%. And sometimes you just don't always want to record, but you want to potentially have the option to look back. Usually when you get into the routine, it's not too difficult just to turn whatever software on that you're using. But yeah, replay feature at the very least. Maybe a reworked uh, ranked queue, separating it uh, explorer is separate from historic. So, you know, you're not flying up the ladder with some wacky alchemy list and then you're just in Mythic, but you're playing Explorer, but you didn't even play that whole format climbing up the ladder. I, that's never That part's never really made sense to me at all. I think at some point down the line, they're going to separate the ranked queues. I, I would hope they do, at least between uh, Constructed and Limited, because at the moment it's just doesn't make sense. Probably not the only one who thinks that. It's like, no, you're you're not in Mythic in Explorer or whatever, standard. You're in Mythic from Alchemy. That's it. Mythic 340, speaking of. Hopefully we can take the... We'll try for it. We got some protection, which is quite nice. They mulliganed once, which is also pretty good. But they're going first. This could be painful. Black something. Well, get the stomping ground at least. Hope no thought sees. Oh, that grease fang. Okay, well, we don't have Graveyard Hate, unfortunately, but we'll get the Hunt Master. Hope they can't kill it. Hope they don't have a Grease Fang. They got a Grease Fang, and they got a win. That's for sure. That's what happens. Um, we didn't cross our fingers hard enough there. Unfortunately, no Graveyard Hate with this particular list. Haven't seen Grease Fang too often, so I felt kind of comfortable cutting it. Unlicensed Hearst, though. Hmm. It's hard to cover all angles consistently, though. Hmm. What to get rid of the greasy rat? I'll keep it as is. We'll hope to go more explosive than that. Yeah, I mean, could grab a Marauding Raptor for sure. Mulliganing pretty aggressively for the combo. Hopefully they didn't get it right there. But it's always nice seeing a mulligan twice, maybe more than twice. Oh, all four communes. My goodness, that is not something I normally expect to see. Wow. Now we'll go Timber Crown. Just so we can go another commune this turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ripjaw. Hopefully more writing sticks around. Maybe we get some protection for it coming up here. Still no Parhelion. Good stuff. Mm. 
Oh boy, here goes nothing. Dead. Ooh. I'm just going to build up enough, hopefully, potentially for a, a completely lethal swing all in one, because I don't want that Stitcher supplier getting Parhelion 2 into the graveyard. Sky Sovereign, that could be difficult. Huntmaster, no, not so bad. Nope, you don't want to attack with that. Five. We could make layer five, which would be blocked by stitchers. We have 12, 15. Uh, I'll wait, just in case. But if we draw another dino next turn, I think that's going to do it. Uh, oh, this grizzly. Hopefully they have no uh, grease fang. Okay, Graveyard Trespass, and Baseju could, uh, oh, what does it do? So Baseju channel for one in a green, discard it to destroy an artifact, enchantment, or non-basic land an opponent controls. Pretty good stuff there. We may have them, because we could take out Parhelion too. And this is exactly what I was hoping for. Ooh, good stuff. That's going to be nice. So that, you ask what Baseju does. That's what Baseju does. I waited till they crewed it, destroyed it, so they were kind of down a little bit. If we get Gaul to next turn, though, I'm feeling pretty positive. Oh, the snakeskin, though. No, it's got to be four, fortunately. There we go. All right. Let's hope they don't get uh, Grease Fang coming up. Well, they don't have anything in hand, so that is... Oh, can't stay away. Do they have Grease Fang in the graveyard? Oh, they do. Okay, we're dead. Nuts. Uh, we're dead, unfortunately. Can't stay away getting Grease Fang. Yeah. That's too bad. Yeah, we got kind of close. Took him down a little bit. It was nice, yes. Uh, the best we could have done with Besaju, that's for sure. Oof, finishing this match oh, basically right at 11.30. 11, oh. But there it is, 11.30, my time. Okay, two hours again? Well, actually, no, I started late. We got time for one more match. That wasn't quite two hours. Hopefully this one goes a little bit faster. In our favor, of course. But I'm definitely liking the utility of Baseju. Yeah, I guess I started at... When did I start at? I should probably just check the time... How long we've been? 146. Okay, about 14 more minutes. Now, yeah, this will probably be the last match. I think. Oh, the music stopped. I forgot to check that again. I'm still having a good time. It's been uh, kind of rough tonight, but 
I've played dinos for four years now. I'm going to keep playing them. There will be times when things are tough, especially testing out various different lists. But I always love them. Always. Oh, I think so. At, at least another hour. This looks pretty good, though. At least we'll get two lands. Oh, right. Hey, you jinxed it. I think you jinxed it. We see a source of black and... Uh... Okay, Rakdos. What is that? Lost track. They could kill Huntmaster. The question always is, play it without one up for protection. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to try to be as explosive as possible and... Uh, well, well it's... That's all right. That's all right. Okay, so I should just rename the stream to Rakdos Night. Just, just that I think. That would be fitting. Play them rotting, definitely using snake skin to. I'm pretty sure save it. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no. It's true. I guess I can agree with that. You didn't jinx it. That's all anyone plays for good reason. It is a absolutely fantastic deck. All the good stuff and, of course, the new Calatus is uh, putting in the work. Usually, we're not blocking, that's for sure. I mean, technically, we could save the Huntmaster with the Snakeskin Veil, getting it to three toughness, but I want Snakeskin to... Probably save somebody else. Commune to get our land for the turn. Wayward is nice, but it's gotta be gotta be stomping. Attack with marauding, definitely. They wouldn't trade with Calatus there. Depending what we draw, we could see Galton next turn. Nope, not blocking. We're going to have to see something quick. Oh, Regisaur, yes. So Regisaur would get both Maraudings to six. Okay, we'll try for it. We'll try for it. Galta, yes. Unfortunately, we lose Regisaur, but hey, if it gets us to the queen, it gets us to the queen. And we would get to swing with big maraudings. I'm going to take advantage of all that. I get another token, unfortunately, but uh, hopefully they don't have a heartless act for Galta there. I just hope we can protect her with a snakeskin veil next turn. They're digging for a heartless act, I think. They still got her. <laughs> I did not expect that. Actually, that ribbons is probably going to do us in. They're thinking if they can attack with enough to be lethal. Oh, interesting.
Hmm. Is there any way out of this? I don't think there is. Call to attack, they'd probably block with... Yeah, there's not really any way out of this, unfortunately. Ribbon's next turn would make us lose at least four. Yeah, again, not busting through that, but anger of the gods, I'm bringing it in 100%. I guess just anger. I'll still keep on master. Yeah, thrashing as well. We'll cut the waywards. It was nice seeing Galta pretty early. Hopefully we see her early again, but it can get a little bit slower cutting the wayward there. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm thinking after tonight, I'll probably just slap in Storm's Wrath, Rakdos Knight, rough Rakdos Knight. But we will bring the pain to them eventually, hopefully sooner rather than later. Should get to four lands at least for Ripjaw. Oh, we got the anger. Phew. Hopefully we can drop Ripjaw and then follow it up with anger at a later turn. Hmm. Oh, we can protect Huntmaster. So that's good. Hey, not today. All right. There we go. Still dead to fail. Hey, that's okay. Oh, yes. I can't believe this is the first safe. Safe, you said it. This is the first time we're seeing the classic, fantastic, otepic, marauding, rip draw for two green. Now the question is, swing with uh, nobody. I want to preserve them. Hopefully going the second rip draw there next turn. I think they definitely want to kill somebody. They looked at him. That does the trick. No way to get around the extinction event, unfortunately. The safe for a turn. All right, Ripjaw, stick around at least one turn. So then we have enough for Anger of the Gods plus Tamiyo safekeeping there. That'd be ideal. That would not be ideal. Well, yeah, yeah, I do wish, I do wish we had that Storm's Wrath. Definitely. Well, we got Galto. Nah, nah. Again, nah, we're not busting through. Could potentially have gone Anger of the Gods. Still down to nine. Chandra will continually chip away, eventually going with her ultimate, unfortunately. But I had a good time. Win or lose. I love it. Always something to learn. Always room for improvement. Some matches there, not really a whole lot we could do, but I definitely like having the perspective of tonight thinking about possible changes certainly 
I'm packing heat, whatever heat that has to be for Rakdos. Yes, still a fun night. Always. Always a fun night chatting with you guys right now, later on, whenever it is. Definitely leave a comment if uh, the stream has ended, but I had a good time. I had a good time. I might use this list tomorrow night. Maybe something special. Might play League of Legends, potentially. But hopefully all you guys have a fun night. A safe night. Stay safe, Pterosaurus. And uh, everybody else watching right now, later on, this morning, this afternoon, this evening, whenever it is. Have a good one. Peace.